All right. Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. Actually, it's been a very hot minute. I've been in my A and uh, I have been doing long short, long form. What the fuck is long short? Anywho, long form videos, but I am back at it. I'm giving it a try one more time. I don't know if I like it and I don't know if I can claim that I like it because I've said this in the past and I didn't do it. So not gonna make any big promises here. So let's get to it. So the whole purpose of this channel is to make fitness entertaining and educational as far as my knowledge goes. Because, <laughs> you know, there is always new things to learn and uh, more education to get and more experiences. All right, so today is going to be a push day. It's gonna be a raw push day, chest, shoulders and triceps. And uh, I'm gonna take you with me into the workout. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna include the warm up because I'm doing a very specific warm up for my push day and it has to do with back. And I'll explain this in, in another video, I guess. So buckle up and let's go get a juicy, nasty, filthy pump. Let's go to the gym. We are not alone. They are among us. As the skies light up. So the reason I'm doing pec flies as my first chest exercise is because I want to open up the chest and feel comfortable and stretched before the uh, actual pressing. They believe we are blissfully unaware. But this activity by non-human extraterrestrial technology is capturing the attention of humans. All right. The reason I am doing triceps before test is I'm trying to fatigue my triceps because they're very dominant in pressing movements. So I want, you know, the chest to get the most out of the chest exercises. So I don't want my triceps to like get involved that much. So I'm pre-fatiguing them before hitting chest. Let's go. This was not the best setup because I was feeling, you know, the tension mostly on my elbow. So I have to lower this station here so that I can like immediately feel the tension on my triceps. I don't know if you guys know, but even if you're strong, even if you bench like, I don't know, 400 pounds or 500 pounds, whatever, you gotta do your warm up. And your warm up reps need to be identical as your working sets reps. Working set reps. Yep, that's a very crucial thing to pay attention to. So don't neglect your warm up sets. All right, this is also a working set, 225 or either 100 kg. Oh, we're gonna go for six reps to eight reps and see how that goes. And the reason I chose like between strength rep range and hypertrophy rep range is because, is because, I don't know. No, I do know that I want most of both strength and hypertrophic effect as possible I can get, but I am too greedy right now. But anyways, let's get it, let's go! I have no idea how many reps I did, but I'm guessing it was eight, we'll see in the video. So this is going to be my first working set. I'm gonna play it safe and uh, like I'm gonna do three to five reps. So we're gonna take it easy and see how that goes.
I think that was easy and I don't want to jinx it, but I'm very proud that I'm hitting 265 again. 120 in KG. Damn it. All right, pump cover is out. We're gonna do our second working set and let's see how this goes. You know, I'm getting enough rest in between sets. I've heard a lot of people saying that you need only 60 seconds and like, I don't know, a little bit longer than one minute. But that's bullshit, bro. You need at least two to two and a half minutes of resting period in between working sets, actually. Otherwise, you won't be able to perform in your second or third working set. So be my guest if you want to do it faster. Okay, that was still an easy set. Let's go. All right, so this is my third chest exercise. Actually, my second push movement. And it's gonna be none other than incline dumbbell press. I wanna talk to you about a secret that gives you the most hypertrophic effect you can possibly have. So let's give it a try. And I'll explain after the set what the secret is. So, if you guys need to know this, whenever I reach the dumbbells at about chest and armpit height, I try to pull my elbows all the way back, stretch my chest even more, so that I can get the most hypertrophic effect for my chest and for the gains. So, if you're working for physique and muscle growth, you should always strive for full range of motion. There is nothing better than going, than performing the whole movement of any exercise with, you know, a weight that you can manage and you can control. And uh, stop cheating, stop cheating on your reps. There's no reason. There's no reason to like put on more weight to impress anybody. The only thing that matters is getting the most out of your workout and work hard, of course. All right, so for my next exercise, I've got deep pronated dips, work on my chest, which, you know, when you're like leaning forward, the whole like weight burden will fall onto your chest. So I'm gonna call them pronated dips for chest. Anywho, and again, I'm gonna focus on the stretch of the movement. Like I'm gonna go all the way down as far as my shoulder and chest allows, because you know, everybody is uh, different and they've got different structure and uh, range of motion. I'm gonna try to work on my range of motion and go as far as deep as, uh, as humanly possible. And I'm gonna pause down there to get the stretch where as I mentioned before, you get the most hypertrophic effect and we are working on our physics here, not on our strength. Let's go, proceed. Move your body, move your body, feel the flow, do the moves, do the moves, let it show, feel the rhythm. All right, probably I set the camera in the wrong height and you're probably gonna watch the head was Nicholas. But anyways, we're gonna do another set and record that too. So we're gonna do what four sets of those and the rep range is gonna be about six to eight reps and then we gotta incorporate two second pause at the bottom. Move your body. So for my third exercise, my third, my fourth exercise for my chest, I do Iron Cross crossover and I start from a parallel grip to a horizontal and thumbs down looking grip. So let me show you in action so that you can understand what I'm doing. So I start from a parallel and I go all the way in and then I rotate my thumbs all the way down. Why? I'm doing this to activate my upper chest. If you have any doubts that upper chest activating is not happening here, just go give it a try on your own. 
But in order to achieve that, you have to maintain a proper arch. So I'm pushing my shoulder blades all the way back. I'm arching my lower back. It's not that heavy to, to risk any injury on my lower back. And then I go all the way down with my thumbs looking down. That's about it, folks. So, for my free last exercise, I'm gonna do some side lateral raises with a cable. I find them, like, I think they're a little bit more isolating than the dumbbells, and I quite enjoy them uh, so far that I have been doing them. You gotta be very strict with those. You don't wanna bring your shoulder too high. Like, you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the tension all the way to your medial shoulder head. I'm gonna be doing a voiceover on this exercise because my microphone died. So this is my pre-last exercise, my first tricep exercise. And as you can see, this is a dual cable tricep extension. I'm trying to uh, control the movement throughout the whole movement, but I am really trying because I'm too tired. And uh, yes, just focus on going uh, full range of motion and keep the elbows tight and close to your body. That's it and that's all. Move your body, yeah. Move your body feel the flower, you know. And uh, for my last exercise, I'm doing single arm side cable tricep extension. That's a bit too lengthy, but anyways, to isolate the tricep even more and target the outer head of the tricep. And uh, guys, if you want to give it a try, please do so because it's an amazing exercise. <laughs> I forgot to record an outro for my long form chest day video, so um, bear with me. I was gonna say I'm really sorry, but bear with me, I'm new to this YouTube thing. But I would like to tell you that if you guys made it this far, please give a workout a try. You're gonna thank me later for the filthy ass nasty pump. And if you enjoyed the video, like the video and subscribe to my channel, I would be really grateful. And I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. On to the next one. Boom. I'm out. Move your body.